are made of queso. We're here today at uh, Alex's house. Yeah. With all, this is a house party, Latino yeah. styles. Um, and we're making nat na natija. natija, which is like a type of custard, yeah, like yeah. a really sweet custard. Yeah, and what about that? And these are orduelos, orduelos, yeah. and they're made of queso, yeah. cheese. And Alex, tell us about the significance of this dessert. About what? It's significant. Why are you making this in December? Okay, people normally here do this dessert in December because that's like in the, the entrance for the for the Merry Christmas. Ah, yeah. So this is our Christmas dessert. Yeah. And who? What different nationalities are represented at this yeah, party? Yeah, there. Are, I mean, there are a lot of the people who are here, like people from Mexico, people from uh, France, people from Pe Peru. And, and people from New Zealand, from and from New Zealand. New Zealand. of course. Yeah. Muy bien. And Virginia is going to present you this place. Um, so we're in San Javier, which used to be quite a dangerous neighborhood, Barrio, I've been told. But yeah. now it's got a ton of graffiti which shows like <coughs> the strength of the community and how they have overcome things. And here's a door drinking Alex's drink. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just good. We're here with some other tourists, some Portuguese tourists today too. So, did you pay attention to the explanation they give about um, the, the She picture? said it was grey, yeah. and she said it was grey to represent the hardships under the present Al... Al what's his name? Al... Alvaro Uribe. That one. Um, but then the little trees like new life being sprouted up. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. This is, this is Medellin. What? This is where we've been living for like a month. Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Crazy to think that 20 years ago this was the most dangerous city in the world and now it's like safe as a... Hey, yeah, but not a night. Not, a not necessarily a night. No, it's not as safe as New Zealand, but <laughs> you know, ignorance is bliss, they say. Yeah. So. So, do you want to present the, how do you say that, skeleton? Oh yes, escalators. So, or as Alex calls them, skeletons. <laughs> so these are the escalators, yeah. and they take us up and down the hill so that we have work, that we can yeah. work. And they are like dancing no. right there. Oh, and Alex has got getting himself a girlfriend today from the, uh, the tour guide, eh Alex? Yeah, she, she has like three sisters and she's offering them to all everybody so I'm going to take like one or two. <laughs> one or two? <laughs> Great! Eh? Tati, uh, Viviana, are you, are you going to take a boyfriend here? One of the... Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, we like to be no. he, 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 Yeah, he's already working in that all the time. <laughs> A uh, park explorer in Medellin, Colombia. There we have it. Hola. Hey, hola. What have we been doing, Alex? Where are we? Hola. Okay, we are in Copacabana. It's like a. <laughs> hola. It's like a. Yeah, okay. It's like a big, big town here from Medellin. See? And we were talking oh, to a one. professor. He is really strange. Yeah, he was talking about the history of Colombia. He said a lot of things that <laughs> we didn't know, and it was so interesting. Muy interesante. Yeah, for Virginia to learn more history of, from my country, and for me to translate what they were talking about. Yeah, it was great. It was hey, what great. about you? It is the park. That's it. Okay. Now, what do you and I want to do on Saturday? We want to go motorbike riding. Yeah, and then what did these two tell us? You <laughs> shouldn't do that, because that's really dangerous. I mean, nah. traffic here, yeah. people here drive like I crazy. don't understand, uh, but I, I, I believe this. Yeah. <laughs> and then, hey, listen to this. Don't go on a motorcycle anymore because that's quite dangerous for you. I'm going to tell something else. Okay, we're going to
Okay, we are here in a traditional event that is called the Fete of the Fete, the, the Feast of the Candles, something like that. And Virginia is here, she's participating in this extraordinary event. Everyone in New Zealand knows I hate lighting candles. And I yeah. Just get it, but I'm doing it because I'm in Colombia. So okay. Okay. Successful. Entonces, is that enough? Yeah. Come on. Come on. I'm not failing. You have to be to do it with force. With force. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Ooh, that's it! <laughs> so... <laughs> you are here with these people. Really nice. And what for a hat. Sebastian, uh -huh. you're my vlog. <laughs> you might actually make it this week. I need a chapter. You might, you might. We'll see. You've got four days until I go home. <laughs> see. Okay, now. This is the candlelight in Medellin. It's a very emblematic event because it's emblematic, yes. Because it's kind of religious, but for us it's very important because it means the, the hope of the, our citizens. And now we are in the lockout. The lockout in Villa Hermosa. Beautiful uh, village, I don't know. 